Hello everybody, it's Eva from the Tiger here again. Uh, I've got really great news. A few days ago, uh, I've got one offer. Uh, I've got offer from Sophie, who is owner of Etsy shop. Uh, name of that Etsy shop, it's Mine Barretti. And I've got offer to be guest designer for this shop. And I, uh, of course, I said yes immediately. I said yes, so I will be really glad to do some some project with her beautiful papers. And uh, uh, Sophie asked me to make some project from Steampunk collection. And of course, uh, I took it because, uh, you know, I like Steampunk. And her papers are crazy and amazing. And it was so easy to do this project with those papers because they are... They, there is so many options how you can use those paper and I hope you will see that. I forgot to print out uh, all those papers, which will be probably much more easy to explain how I use them. But I, I think you will see that. Uh, I've got here just this rest. <laughs> those are pieces of her beautiful collection. Uh, and I use it twice. Once in this A4 size, like this one. And then I print it off in an uh, A5 size, like two pages on one, this one. And I, you will see why I did it. Uh, I made Jung Journal out of this amazing collection. And I really hope you will like it because I like it. I really like how it turns out. So this is, <laughs> this is my Jung Journal, my another steampunk. Uh, I don't know if it's steampunk, but I really like it. <laughs> This is another steampunk junk journal I made, and uh, it's called Forever. And for cover, I use that uh, metal tape, uh, and I use those metal pieces. And here I made uh, like small screws. I used uh, the, the glossy accent, and then I went over it with uh, a ribbon buff that called ribbon buff. Here, that spin uh, I made out of my old belt. It was my belt, which I wore a long time ago, and I'm not using it anymore, so I use those pieces, like my spin. This is backside. Here you can see it, proper hardware. <laughs> we have to sew, uh, sew it. Oh my god, it, uh, I'm not sure if you did say. You know, so, uh, you know, use saw for cutting that it's not screw. This one is a little bit shorter because it was really long. So I needed a little bit shorter. So my son helped me with that. I think it was most hard work in this junk journal to cut it <laughs> shorter. This one. <laughs> and this closure, it's from my old leather, uh, leather handbag, which I'm not using anymore because I rip it once. <laughs> so I use this closure. And it's really very easy to open and it's really hard and it's keeping properly this junk journal and as, as you can see this journal it's full of embellishments and as you can hear it's very noisy journal <laughs> so here you can see I used few gears around like embellishments and this is my first page and I just finished, and as I can see, oops, it's not dry yet. Oh, here you can see my first page. As you can see, I used a uh, like metal frame around this amazing, beautiful design. And here I can show you. I printed off in A4 size. It's this one, and then in A5 size, all those papers. Because uh, I decided to use them like my pages and also like my embellishment. And it was really easy because those papers have so many options, has so many amazing images. Like this hot air balloon with clocks, this dress uh, dressmaker. It's so many there, so you will see that. Here I use just this gear embellished that lady's eye and here I used again small uh, watch gear and I put there a little bit glossy accent so this is my first page 
And this journal has five signatures. Three of them are like folders and I, I will show you later what I mean like folders because this journal has uh, five signatures here but two more signatures here <laughs> on this end so I will show you later what I mean this is my first page here I made pocket out of this acetate piece and I put there I put there this beautiful vintage photograph and this tag is from this collection and here that um, backside I used one of those uh, pages so I glued them together I used few of my stamps in this in this journal here you can see that lady in large size and it's smaller size and I use again my gears and I think should be more. Ah, yeah, it's moving. It's moving. <laughs> you know, I like to play. It's horrible. I know. And I used uh, this paper like embellishment, like tax spots, and oh, you will see like tax spot, like tax. Here, beautiful lady. Again, some stamp. Here, this banknote. It's from this collection as well, and I use it like my pocket. And here, I made. Just tack, small tack, and as you can hear, I used so many those jingle bells in this in this journal. I don't know why, but I like that sound of this journal. It's a really noisy journal. <laughs> and here I used small silver bike. Hopefully you can see that it's beautiful sunshine outside. I'm so glad. I've been all day uh, in a, in garden with my dog, and we just enjoy that sunshine because it's after a long time so nice and here you can see that hot air balloon with clocks I used f uh, those hand uh, clock hands like embellishment and here you can see them in larger size so you can use this paper really with so many options this is another page of this collection and I use this uh, 58 piece here again I put some gear to that lady eye and I put that glossy accent. I really like embellished <laughs> those steampunk girls with this embellishment. Here I made uh, from uh, that tape, that metal tape, I made embellishment like uh, hinges on this page. And this is other side of this page. And, uh, here is uh, hot air balloon with this beautiful lady. I made frame out of that silver uh, tape and I made here small like a booklet or oh, you will see it's closing with this arrow and under that I use this gear. Here is space for journaling and behind that it's small pocket and this tag is from this collection from this steampunk collection and here I made, made small tuck again with jingle bell and this page is opening like this and here is another junk journal another oh my I forgot that name uh, another signature oh my gosh <laughs> I'm horrible so this is another signature here is one and here is another one in this end and here I made uh, those holders from uh, paper clips and uh, this paper it's from a different collection and it's from same shop uh, this collection it's called I think abroad or something like this abroad I think and it's with traveling theme and it's really beautiful so I use this paper here as well and I put that this vintage photograph photography of that man in hot air balloon and here I made small tack again with the jingle bell and here I use that uh, uh, can can pull can pull like embellishment I bake it with paper from this collection and I put there a few uh, watch gears and this one it's actually oh, I don't know how to say that uh, if I'm guessing right, uh, this it's like a button for men 
men t-shirts, you know, for those, uh, like jewelry for t-shirts. I'm not sure if, if, if you say so, like button for men t-shirts. And I really like this <laughs> image. <laughs> so this is my another small journal here. Again, I used a few stamps. And I made pocket. I made here uh, like double pocket. Here is one. And here is another one. It's like double pocket here. And this is from the beautiful collection as well. And here as you can see, beautiful steampunk lady with wings. And here I played with stamp as well. Uh, I use this gear and those wings like embellishment. Again, some stamp. And here you can see that the beautiful lady I've got it on first page here. Here I printed off on A4 size and here is an A5 and I made pocket behind. And I really like this black page. It's awesome. It's amazing page, all in black. And I really like it, this design. And here I used a glossy accent to make more seen that gear. Again, that metal frame. So this is my first signature. This is second signature. Uh, here I used my stencils. Again, I made pocket. Here you can see uh, my small hot air balloon. And I'm not sure if I already been... No, aha, okay. <laughs> you will see that hot air balloon in a bigger size uh, later on. So I made pocket out of this beautiful paper and I put there this vintage photo. photo. And here I made tag out of this beautiful paper collection. This is from same collection and I bake it with the same paper. Here, as you can see, it's that banknote, which I used like, uh, like a <gasps> pocket. And here, as you can see, here is that lady where I before used that gear on her eye. So here I made like those glasses. Uh, we call it that swicker in my language, when is it just for one eye? <laughs> so I made it out of wire and those uh, self-adhesive acetate pieces. And here I used again a few gears. And here I used silver clocks. And again, some embellishment with chain. So this is my tag. And here I tried to make that Tim Holtz techniques. <laughs> it's just a huge mess, I think. <laughs> but I like it. I like to play. Oops. I need to glue down this one. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I need to repair the tuck. And here I used a few stamps. Those are urban stamps. And this uh, stencil, I think it's a uh, Andy Skinner stencil. This one. It's beautiful. I like it. Again, some urban stamps. This is end of my signature. And this is second signature. Here I made pocket out of this uh, one envelope in that collection. So I made pocket again, that can, can pull. And I put again some gears inside like embellishment. And it's like tag spot here. Those tags are from same collection. They look like this one. Really beautiful. I really like this collection. It's it has so many options, like you, how you can use those papers, and I really like it. This <laughs> beautiful vintage photo, <laughs> this man always makes me smile, I don't know why. Why? <laughs> Again, some tag. Again, that paper from that uh, other collection from this uh, amazing shop. And here you can see that hot air balloon in bigger size, yes. I used, again, that metal, metal tape art, like my tag few gears and that hot air balloon. I really like it. Yeah, this is my tag. And here is another image from this collection. I made it like a pocket with those gears. Like this. This gear is movable. This gear is movable as well. And here I want to show you it's another image or another 
embellishment. It was before uh, also that button for, I, I don't know if you call it that button, button for men's t-shirts. So I could only that piece on back side and I glue it here. And I really like it. It's proper steampunk. And here I made that belly band. Again, one bottle. Uh, no bottle. Can pull. Again, with glossy accent inside and vintage paper behind. This is piece from my belt with this uh, small piece was put together, all those pieces. I don't mean just with one, but this small piece was, was between those pieces. So I use it here like embellishment as well. You know, everything, it's good. <laughs> And here, yes, this pocket with those tags, uh, you can purchase with all this collection. It's there, I think, two pockets and four or five tags. And they are really beautiful. So I need it here. Again, a few stamps. Again, that beautiful stencil from Andy Skinner collection. Here you can see half of that pocket and I use it like a pocket on my page, like a double pocket, I can say. This is one tag, this is, oops, photo, vintage photo. And from other side I made pocket as well and I used piece of acetate here with those steampunk gloves. No gloves, oh my god. <laughs> Googles. <laughs> Steampunk Googles here. <laughs> Few gears. And again, one tag from this collection. Oopsla. Is this one? It's beautiful hot air balloon. And <clears throat> this is uh, from this paper. It was somewhere here, I think, or here, or somewhere here it was. <laughs> and I stamp it with that life. And again, vintage photo of man in hot air balloon. I really like this photo. It's beautiful. Again, some stencil. Stamps. And this is my other page. Here you can see another image from this amazing collection. It's Steampunk Lady and I embellish it a little bit. Again, I used another that... Men's t-shirt, button, few gears, um, some vintage key, and here, uh, that piece from the die, this piece, this like a scrap, I used here, uh, like my tuck spot. Here. So this is another tuck. From this beautiful collection, and I really like this lady, it's an amazing lady. On the other side, here you can see it's for Thai, I think. It's embellishment for Thai, and it's again with that steampunk mare in sea scaphandre. Scaphandre, I hope you call it the same name that that what he wearing, scaphandre. <laughs> I really like those embellishments. And here I tried again uh, Tim Holtz technique and I made this tag. And I tried to match those colors with that rest. Here you can see, yeah, embellishment. I need to cover it, that back side, with something. Here you can see that other half of that black page and I really like it. I, I didn't want to cover it with any, anything. That's why I made tag. And I included it here because this light is amazing. I really like it. I, I like too much that black, <laughs> that black page. It's awesome. <laughs> so this is my another page. I will put it there later on. Again, <clears throat> Andy Skinner. Andy Skinner. Mm -mm -mm. Stencil. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's too late for me. <laughs> uh, I forgot to say I coffee dyed all those papers for this journal. And I really like how always those coffee dyed and tea dyed papers looks like. It's awesome. You know, before uh, I start to be a part of this amazing craft family, I 
had no idea that it's possible to coffee dye or tea dye your papers and then they look like old one. I knew that if I will use a, a fire, can I say that? And I will burn those edges. I, I knew that it will look old, but I had no idea that papers dyed in coffee or tea look so awesome. I really didn't know that and I'm so glad I know it now <laughs> because I'm using it all the time. <laughs> You know, now uh, white papers are very boring for me. It's horrible, I know, it's horrible. So here is another image from this beautiful collection. It's all page. And here I made like a double pockets. These accordion pockets here. And I made few tags. Here you can see another um, pocket from this beautiful collection. You just need to cut out this pocket from uh, that piece of paper and this is stuck from that other collection from that abroad I hope I'm saying that right you have to go there and <laughs> check it out if I'm saying it right so this is stuck from that traveling collection <laughs> and I really, really like it with this collection as well so I use it I hope you don't mind and this is some ephemera again some ephemera and a small tag and here is another here you can see that the black uh, page in smaller size and I used uh, acetate piece like my pocket and another back few stamps again the beautiful page and here you can see that lady in larger size here I made pocket uh, and it's again like a double pocket. I used one paper under this paper. This paper is from this beautiful collection and I use this. <laughs> this crazy picture I include. And here my small steampunk tag. This. Again a few stamps. And here again I made again acetate. Oops, I need to glue it again. Acetate, uh, acetate pocket and movable gears and again some crazy vintage picture and few tags from this amazing collection and all those are steampunk here I made that back side with different paper few stamps and here I made a um, pocket using this mesh this is actually mesh you know those uh, potato bags those paper bags large one so on one side it's using this, this mesh so I cut that mesh because I like it <laughs> and I use it here I, I don't know why but I like that mesh <laughs> so I use it here like my pocket <laughs> And again, that uh, metal tape like uh, embellishment. And here you can see this, it's small size of that envelope, which I used somewhere at the front. I think I will don't find, here, huh? here is that envelope in larger size like my pocket. And here you can see from which paper I cut it out. It's this man. It's actually here. I just glue it here. And this banknote I used like my pocket somewhere here. So this paper has so many options and uh, from this piece I made that double double pocket somewhere here here. So this paper has so many options because it's there are so many to use like this express can be cut out the, uh, separately and it's beautiful embellishment as well. So I really like this paper, really. And here I use that small, <laughs> I like this hot air balloon. And I use it like embellishment again with with few chains around and few gears. And this is my kind of last signature. I made pocket here. Behind this beautiful lady, few gears. Again, they are movable. Again, that can pull. 
make like tuck spot. No, I glue it down. Okay, here is just pocket. <laughs> and here I use chains, jingle bells, and this beautiful heart lock with key. I really like this one. And it's open like this. Here is envelope. Oh, and I forgot to print out some photographs and put them inside. Here you can see that page again because I really like that envelope. And here, my last signature. Here is pocket. Again, a few stamps. I hope I'm not out of... This is Tim Holtz stamp. This is half of page and this is other half of page. Again, Tim Holtz stamp. This this signature is really very easy without any embellishment. And this is my last page where I tried again use some Tim Holtz stamps. So this is my last signature. Oops, I need to let it dry. It's not dry yet. Oops. And here you can see my hardware, <laughs> which we used in this in this steampunk journal. So this is my steampunk journal uh, made out of beautiful steampunk collection from, I have to show you again, Mine Barretti shop. I will put, oops, sorry, I will put links uh, for this, this shop and for uh, Facebook of this lady, if I will find it, I hope I will find it, for this shop uh, down below to the des description box. And I really hope you will go there and you will check out her amazing uh, collections because she's got so many. And I really like this collection and that abroad. I think it's abroad, which I purchased already. So I really hope you will go and you will check out those beautiful collections. And I really hope you like this <laughs> steampunk or crazy junk journal. And I really have to say that I enjoy it. I enjoyed every single part of this. And I have to repair a few parts <laughs> of this. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Sophie, for offering me this, this amazing chance. Your papers are gorgeous, gorgeous. It's so easy to work with them because they have so much to offer. So I really hope you like my, <laughs> my small project. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to check out all comments because I didn't know that I have any uh, my notification on YouTube just stopped working and I had no idea that I've got there any comments so um, thank you so much for all beautiful comments I'm going to answer them now I hope you've got beautiful day I hope you have very happy crafting and see you next time bye